Hey there guys, welcome to the Fire Red Nuzlocke Randomizer. Yes. Uh, for those of you who don't know, the Nuzlocke, ha a Nuzlocke challenge is a way to make Pokemon games a little bit more difficult for those that have, are experienced with the game. There are two main rules. You can only catch the, f rule number one, you can only catch the first Pokemon that you encounter in any given route or area. Rule number two. If, the Poke if any of your Pokemon faint at any time, they are considered dead and must be either permanently released or boxed. So, it adds a little bit more spice to the game, I guess you could say, as we're watching in the opening again. Um, but yeah, I hope this will be fun, and it's randomized, meaning I have no idea what any of the Pokemon in the areas are going to be. So this will be fun. Let's get started, shall we? Blah 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 tutorial. Blah 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 blah. Hello there. Glad to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. People affectionately refer to me as the Pokemon Professor. This world is inhabited far and wide by creatures called Pokemon. For some Pokemon, for some people, Pokemon are pets. Others use them for battling. As for myself, I study Pokemon as a profession. But first, tell me a little bit about yourself. Now tell me, are you a boy or are you a girl? Now when I play Nuzlocke, I don't like to play as myself. I like to create a story. So today we're going to be telling the story Which button select? We're gonna be telling the story of Herb. Right, so your name is Herb. <laughs> this is my grandson. He's been your rival since uh, you were both babies. What was his name again? Well, my name is er Herb, so it's only logical that his name should be Spice. <laughs> Spid. Spice. So it was Spice? That's right, I remember now. His name was Spice. Herb, your very own Pokemon legend is about to unfold. A world of dreams and adventures of Pokemon awaits. Let's go. Bleep, 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 bleep. Herb played with the NES. Time to go. Before we get started, I am going to get out of the men menu. I'm going to switch that to fast. I think I'm gonna set to set battle style to set to make things just a little bit more difficult for me. Alright, exit. Inside your PC, there's a potion! It's my potion now. If you're doing a Nuzlocke of your own, don't forget to pack that up. Hello! Right, all boys leave home someday. It said so on TV. Oh, yes. Professor, Professor Oak next door was looking for you. Was he now? Well, let's just say screw him and go on our adventure. Hey, wait. Don't go out. Well, darn. It's unsafe. Wild Pokemon live in tall grass. You need your own Pokemon for your protection. I know. Here, come with me. do 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 All right, Herb, hurry along. Gramps, I'm fed up with waiting. Spice? Let me think. Oh, that's right. I told you to come. Just wait. His name is Spice Oak. <laughs> I just realized. Here, Herb. There are three Pokemon here. Ha-ha! Po the Pokemon are held inside these Pokeballs. When I was young, I was a serious Pokemon trainer. But now, in my old age, I have only these three left. You can have one. Go on, choose. Hey, Gramps, no fair. What about me? Be patient, Spice. You can have one, too. Alright, let's see what our starters are. Low Tad. I have these all set so they're gonna be a, a base Pokemon with two evolutions. <laughs> Do I want Squirtle? That's definitely a Squirtle. <laughs> um... Yeah, we'll go with Arn. <laughs> or Puppy, as my mom calls her. <laughs> 
Let's give a name to this Aron. Now, let's get into our naming theme. I don't normally use naming themes, but I thought it'd be fun to do for this. My my naming theme is Herb, or my, my name is Herb, so my naming theme is gonna be like herbs and flowers and whatnot. I have a list of like 40 or so, which should get me through the game. And I have them all in a randomizer, because we're all about random here. So let's hit randomize, and our name is... All right, then. That's your name. Dill. Dill the, the female Aron. <laughs> you took the Bulbasaur. Uh-oh. That might cause problems later. Let's take a look at Dill. Dill has an item. Steel rock lacks nature. Sturdy. Tackle harden. What's that item you got? An X. Uh, I mean, I can sell it later. Alright, Dill, let's go on our beautiful adventure together. Shall we? Wait, Herb, let's check out our Pokemon. Come on, I'll take you on. Botanist Spice. That's actually very appropriate. I also randomized everyone's trainer class and name. So that's gonna be fun. Botanist Spice sent out Bulbasaur. And another thing that I've done, normally this would be a level 5 Bulbasaur. A level 5 Pokemon like our Pokemon. But I set it so that all trainers have a 10% increase to, to their levels. I'm assuming it rounds up. So, might not matter much right now, but later in the game, when we're battling the Elite Four, if we get that far, it'll be a pain in the butt. So everyone's gonna be like 10 levels higher. But for now, let's just take out this Bulbasaur and hope it doesn't whack me. Haha! It can't even. I just realized it can't even hit me with like Vine Whip. That was a crit. It can't even hit me like Vine Whip or anything, because it doesn't learn Vine Whip until like level 10. It would hit me with Leech Seed if it had a Grass type move. Yes! Good crit, Dill. Let's get out of here. Look at all that experience! What? Unbelievable! I picked the wrong Pokemon! Yeah, you should have gone for Lotad. I think it would have had Water Gun, which would have presented a problem to me. Oh boy. I'll make my Pokemon battle to toughen it up. So you later. Alright then. Let's go on our adventure. Do, 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 do. Now, I'd like to point out that I don't have Pokeballs yet, so this Pokemon does not count towards the random. Wow, that's so random. It's so wacky and random! Anyway. Um. What was I saying? Oh, yeah. Um, most people don't count the Nuzlocke as officially started until you get Pokeballs. I don't have Pokeballs yet, so I am not counting this Pidgey as my first encounter. Meaning I still have a Route 1 encounter. Do, 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 do. Hello. Give me my free potion. I know you have one. Give it to me, or I'll sick my Auron on you. I'll sick Dill on you. She's very vicious. Dun, 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 dun. Ooh, a Nidoran. Nidoran female. Level six, good job, Dill. I'm very proud of you, Dill. Anyway, we're in Viridian City. Uh, let's head to the Pokemart and see if we can buy some Pokeballs. But we can't, of course, because we have to deliver this guy. We have to deliver our Oak's parcel to Oak. We 
before we can freaking get anything. Get out of the way, my dude. Before we head back, let's heal up with Miss Nurse Joy. Do, 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 do. Thank you for waiting. We restored your Pokemon to full health. We hope to see you again. That's just rude. Now, I might do more randomizers in the future if you guys like this sort of thing. I like, th I really enjoy randomizers because it, re it means that you don't necessarily know what's coming up in the future. You can't really plan in advance. It also makes finding grinding uh, training spots a little difficult. <laughs> There's a setting in the randomizer to change everyone's type. Which really messes with things. I've done it in the past and I've needed like a Google spreadsheet to keep everything in order. Anyway, there was a Pokeball in that parcel. I almost forgot what you called me for. Alright, I have a request for you two. On the desk there is my invention, the Pokedex. It's the blah blah blah. Herb and spice and everything nice. Wait. <laughs> That's not right. Sugar and spice, everything nice. Take these with you. There's 11 herbs and spices in this Pokedex. You can't get detailed data by on Pokemon just by saying them. You must catch them to attain data. So here are tools for catching wild Pokemon. We finally got our first Pokeballs. Hooray! When a wild Pokemon appears, it's fair game. Just throw a Pokeball at it and try and catch it. This won't always work, however. Our healthy Pokemon can escape. You have to be lucky to make a complete guide of all Pokemon in the world. That was my dream. But I'm too old. I can't get the job done, so I want you two to fulfill my dream for me. Get moving, you two. It's a great undertaking in the Pokemon history. All right, Gramps, leave it all to me. Herb, I hate to say, but you won't be necessary for this. I know. I'll borrow Tim Matt from my sis. I'll tell him not to lend you one, Herb. Ha ha ha. Don't bother coming around my place after this. Okay, I won't. I won't go get your town map. I mean, I could. I don't want to, though. Okay, fine. I'll go get the town map. Daisy! Grab asked you to run an errand? Gee, that's lazy of him. Here, this will help you. Thanks, Daisy. Bye, Daisy. You've served your purpose for this game. That's all she's good for, just giving you the town map in this game. I think if you beat the Elite Four and go ask her for the map, she'll be like, she asked you to run an errand, like, five months ago? What? Okay, we got a Pidgey on Route 1. So exciting and random. Pidgey. I only have so many balls. Get in. Two. Three. Flip. Alrighty. Let's figure out what this Pokemon's name is, shall we? Pidgey was added to the Pokedex. Don't let, uh, does not like to fight. It hides in tall grass and, and so on. Foraging for fugs. Bug. Food. Such a small bugs. I can't read. All right, Pidgey's name is going to be. All right. I hope I'm pronouncing this right. Um. Shovel. Welcome to the team, Shovel. Let's take a look at you. It's careful. Keen eye. Alright. I'll make a man of you yet, Shervil. Go Dill.
Alrighty, Pidgey down. Moving on. Alright, I healed up. So let's head into the Pokemart and maybe buy some Pokeballs? Because I only have three. Let's grab a few potions and, a, and an antidote because poison is bad in this game. Alright, let's get out of here. I am broke as ever as all get out now. Let's go see if I can catch another Pokemon over on Route 22, I think this is. 22. Dragon. I'll switch out for the dragon. I want me a little dragon. It's using rap. Oh no. Good thing I switched out. Because I may have killed Sherval at some point. Alright, we have 13 Pokeballs. We can do this. Get in the ball. One, two, Three. Oh, rude. One. No, bad Dratini. exceed 6.5 feet in length. It grows larger by repeatedly shedding skin. Alright, what is your name, you pain in the butt? It's... Oh, that's actually kind of cute. I keep going to the wrong window afterwards. Uh... Am I spelling it right? No, I would not be spelling it right. Alright, look at let's look at this pain in the butt. He's bashful. Shed skin. Alright. Before I move on though. 
without a potion. Are you proud of me? I'm proud of me. Alright, I'm gonna go heal up. And then... Hmm. I might do some training? Around what time are we at? About 20 minutes? Uh... Yeah, we can do a little bit of training before I end the episode. So this will be sped up. Probably to some bit some sort of royalty-free music in the background. But, uh... Let's get to it. I kind of want to raise Shervil and Zing Sing up to level 6, maybe? And Dill up to, like, level 8? Alright, let's get on with it. trained up for now. I'll probably do a little bit more later, but I there's like two more routes I can get to right now that I can catch Pokemon at, so I'd rather catch Pokemon there and then do some more training. Um, Dill's pretty much the same as when we last saw him. He was just trying, I was just using him to get Ginseng and Shervil up to level 5. Shervil learned Sand Attack while we were training. Other than that, it was pretty uneventful. Jensen got poisoned at one point. But yeah, think, uh, I think I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please let me know down in the comments below. I'll talk to you all in my next video. Bye, guys!